Hi, I'm Sean Smith and today I'm at the Annapolis Boat Show to see the all-new Beneteau 46.1. Come with me as we take a look and walk through the boat. Starting at the transom of the new Oceanus 46.1, there's a couple of great features. The electric drop-down transom creates an enormous swim platform, easy access on and off the boat, as well as you have seats on this boat. So this is replacing the Oceanus, previous Oceanus in the 45. Uh, where the whole transom came down. This is great, you, all, you have the drop down transom, but also maintain seating in the cockpit. As well as this seating here swivels out and that is a barbecue grill, an electric grill. Another great feature on the transom are these retractable davits. So you can see this one extended, another one here, what it looks like recessed. So it's really easy to, um, with this davit system, bring a, a dinghy up out of the water behind the boat. Uh, instead of towing it or having a, a large arch for a dinghy davit. So it's a brilliant solution in the new 46.1 and 51.1. Stepping onto the transom, I'll show you quickly that oh, electric grill, griddle. And then we'll start here at the uh, starboard helm station, which is the primary. This is where our throttle, throttle control, Yanmar diesel, our bow thruster, electric winches are located. In this boat, you can have a 57 horsepower diesel with a sail drive or an 80 horsepower option. At the starboard helm, we've got a autopilot control, B&G chart plotter, which you're also gonna have at the port helm. So at either helm, you can see your charts, all wind speed depth information on these touchscreen B&Gs. And there's also a lower uh, multifunction display. Really great design on the 46.1 is having both the cabin top and primary winches back here at the helm station. So you can see up on the cabin top, you've got a lounge area and no winches or lines coming back. Um, so basically all of our lines are gonna come out of the mast base and then all the way back to the helm station. This is gonna really clear up the cockpit, make it easy to handle everything on the boat. You can see here, out hull, spin hull, your main sheet, furling line. All right here at the helm easy to operate but also perfect for entertaining this boat has the deluxe cockpit table which is fiberglass with teak wood leaves you've got a compartment up forward and then also a large compartment accessible aft which is a great storage for a uh, life raft locker See this beautiful teak wood in the cockpit? It is an option to do teak wood all the way up the deck. Really innovative feature on this boat is having the diagonal shroud inboard and our cap shroud outboard. So it's a really smooth path walking right through the both of them up to the bow where we've got an electric windlass back in our furler. You can see this beautiful new bow sprit on the 46.1 with the recessed anchor as well as a code zero and asymmetric spinnacle, spinnaker attachment point. The 46.1 has an, a beautiful gunnel, goes along, tow rail all the way around the boat. And inside are the LED recessed navigation lights. There's a couple of sail plan options with this boat. You can do the aluminum mast, furling main, self-tacking jib, or this boat is rigged with the Genoa, with Genoa tracks on the side decks. You can also do a first line performance package with a carbon mast and classic uh, mainsail. The main sheet arch in this boat is great to get lines off of the cabin top. It's perfect for cruising, but you can also order it without the arch. You could also order this boat with the light oak or mahogany. This boat we're standing on has the light oak interior with taupe padding, this taupe color, it's gorgeous. Pan around and take a look at the interior. Port side is the galley, very spacious galley. You've got a top loading refrigerator as well as a front loading. Lots of counter space on top. Gimbaled stove, dual sink over here. With a cutting board below. and a nice storage and board. 
good place to brace against if you're underway, but also very useful for storage. The port side aft cabin is very spacious. Lots of hanging locker storage here. Large opening window, I really like this. And then the starboard aft cabin has access to the head, as well as battery breakers and uh, electric winch and windlass breakers. This head has access, like I mentioned, to the head, which has an electric Drapsco head that has raw or uh, fresh water. So for water out of the tank or water out of the sea. And a separate shower with an LED recessed light up above. Beautifully done. I really like the floor colors in here. The striping looks beautiful. As well as this little bookcase just behind the compression post for the mass. Plenty of seating at the salon table where you have large windows and storage up above. A couple of overhead hatches with screens and shades. And then on the port side, you have your nav station and settee. So forward is a nav table where you also have your B&G VHF radio. And you can of course add another truck potter for further electronics here. However, in this boat, they opted for a TV. Up in the forward cabin, you have a centerline berth. The size of this cabin feels more like the 48 or larger boat. It's got a completely separate shower from the head. What we're seeing in the, you know, plus 50 size boats. just so much space inside this cabin. On the port side is another electric Japsco head. And plenty of storage in this forward cabin, as well as I really like these blackout shades. I hope you enjoyed this quick walkthrough tour of the new Beneteau Oceanus 46.1. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to talking to you really soon.